all right we're back with modeling I'm going to be doing this lever uh, today and I'm doing the modeling in this session and the texturing later on I seem to be on a kick for doing uh, old levers all right but we're going to do it in two parts so today we're going to do the modeling and I'm provide you that reference image so you can download that from the description and this is it and I brought it in I just moved it back a little bit and it may not be in the perfect position yet but let's get to this so I'm going to bring in a plane go into edit mode and scale it so that it's the right size we're going to edit mode let's rotate x 90 actually and then we can do the background gx hold down shift and just move it a little bit okay that's good enough back in the wireframe i'm going to select these top vertices and i'm going to pull them up to the top here and i'm going to select the bottom ones and pull them down to the bottom like that all right so i've got that selected all and shift control b and pull i've got two points there i'm going to roll up three four five and get that curve i'm going to extrude it back and delete that face come back into solid and that's going to be flipped because i moved it backwards like that so i'm just going to select it all and recalculate outside okay back into wireframe and object mode for this panel I'm going to make this cutaway part so I'm going to bring in another plane and scale it to the inner width like that rotate x 90 scale this in the Z until I reach the top at and not reaching the bottom so I'm just going to grab it here and pull it down like that okay select it we're going to bevel but we're going to do something different this time shift control B I'm going to pull until I reach there. Then I'm going to open up the bevel dialog box and change this shape. As I pull it to the left, I'll get this. Now, hopefully, that's enough points. This is going to be relatively low poly, so it might be a little bit jagged there, but that's okay. All right, so we've got that. Let's move it out. E to extrude. I'm going to pull it through this object come back to the solid bolt select it all and I'm going to recalculate outside to flip it slash key to focus just on that and two for edge selection I'm going to select these sharp edges here all the way around all right we're going to bevel these but it'll still have the old settings as I pull this I still want the same five segments in there so I'll click there and I'll set this back to 0 0.5 and that should give me pretty much what I want anyhow. Slash key to bring the other one back. Take this one, let's do a Boolean on it. Difference, select that and apply. I can get rid of that. Now I've got this extra piece in here, so I'm gonna select that back face, turn to the side and pull it till it's pretty much in line. Doesn't have to be perfect. And X faces, get rid of that. Two for edge selection, and now I can shift, alt, and click. It'll take me a couple of clicks, and I get the inside and the outside. Don't do that piece, though. All right, so I've got that, and I'm going to do the same. Five segments is okay. It'll still it'll come in at about 3,500 tries, I think. All right, so I have that. Now we're going to do this part. This is going to be a plane here, and then we'll make that cutaway. So just a simple plane in there rotate x90 and I'm gonna pull it in a ways like that scale it in the Z and it's gone up to the top so let's just grab the bottom here pull it down to there all right cool so we're gonna make the cutaway part now back into wireframe and we'll use a circle for that I'll go for 16 vertices though and rotate it as usual and bring it up I'm going to press 1 for vertex selection and scale it and what I really want is I want um, these vertices here uh, I'm going to extrude them off to the left and the right so I'm going to delete these bottom ones select those two B e and SX pull out to the side and then extrude them down a little bit and then select it all shift D rotate X 180 to flip it all the way around and pull it down until those lines are right here that's close enough select those two vertices F to make a face those two F and with those two selected select those ones and X 
dissolve vertices. We'll need those. You have to make a face, pull it out, and extrude it through. And I keep going in in that direction, uh, and so I need to select it and recalculate it. All right, let's just focus on this and this for the moment. And I want to bevel these edges, so select these sharp edges here all the way around. Like that. All right, control B, pull the five segments is fine. All right, so let's push it through just a little bit more. I'm gonna select the plane now and add a Boolean. I'm gonna switch this to fast and do that. Apply and get rid of that. Slash key to bring everything back. Let's give this a little bit of depth or thickness. So select the edges by holding shift and control. I've got them E to extrude, pull it in a little ways and then select them again and we'll bevel them. Let's make sure you don't have anything else selected. All right, good, control B. Excellent. Now this inner piece is going to have that texture. And so I'm gonna separate these uh, by material. So right now I'm going to create a new material. I'm gonna just call this in. And this one, I'll make a new material. I'm gonna call this out. All right, so we can move on now. Get back in wireframe. We'll do the bolts. So let's come here. Let's see, let's come in here. Let's in face selection, select that and shift S cursor to select it. Bring the 3D cursor close to where we need it and shift a mesh circle this is going to be six i've done this a lot of times so let's just get this done rx90 okay even better all right let's put a face on that pull it out extrude it back in and delete that back face press two for edge selection and select it all and control b and pull but I don't want that many segments. I'm rolling back to just the two and one more. And that's good enough. Now in face selection, I'm gonna select there. I'll bring my 3D cursor there, make it easier to do this bolt. We'll bring in another circle, but this one will do 16. And scale down, F to make face, rotate it 90 degrees, pull it out a little ways, extrude it back in, but get rid of that face. Grab that face. I might pull it out a little bit and then control B and pull it back, make a big dome-like structure roll up. I'm gonna join that right now to that. And let's just look at the position of that and the size of it. Yeah, I can move that a little bit. That's fine right there, good enough. Select this and go into edit mode, select it all and bring the 3D cursor there and then set the origin to the 3D cursor. And now we can mirror that all the way around. So let's mirror that in the X and in the Z, and then apply that mirror. And then box select, but go Control L to get all of the vertices, and just rotate it a little bit off. And I'll do the same for this bottom one down here. Don't forget Control L though, and we'll just rotate. And yeah, hopefully they look okay. We're gonna join these as well, Control J. And I'm not worried about shading. I'm gonna deal with that later. Okay, so we got that. All right, the inner part now, shift A, mesh plane, scale it to that width, rotate X 90, and just position it as good as you can or as you like. Select these two edges and then press E and SZ. Pull it up to around where it goes underneath this. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is select those edges again. I probably shouldn't have let them go. Now that one and that one. I'm going to look from the side. I'm going to start pulling them back on an angle. And then I'm going to look under. And I just want to make sure it clears the top and the bottom. So it clears the top. It should clear the bottom. Something like that is probably good enough. Shift Alt to click that edge and that edge. E and extrude it out in the Y. All right. I'm going to SY0. Scale it in the 0. We'll come back to there for now. And let's leave that. Let's shift alt and click these edges though and control B to bevel. I use the same number of segments and the size. And it will look like that. Now you're not gonna see this structure here. We could look at trying to get rid of some of it. It is a bit ugly, but there's not really a good way 
that I can think of. Um, because if you look a little bit on an angle, I don't want to cut it off too low. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I'm going to select this though and Shift D to duplicate it. Scale it down a bit. P and break it out. So I've got that. I'll look from the front in wireframe. And on this guy here, where'd it go? Come on back. There we go. I'm going to scale it down to roughly match that size. Pretty close is fine. Extrude it back a little ways and get rid of that back face. I'll have to flip it, so I'll just do that right now. I'm back in solid view two for edge selection. I'm going to select these outer edges. Did I get that one? I think so. This one and this one, control B, something like that, and shift alt and click this front one, control B. Yeah, that may be a little bit too many segments for it, but that's all right. It's still gonna be pretty low poly. Okay, yeah, I got it all. Okay, I'm gonna join those. And I'm also gonna take this and I'm gonna join it to the out. All that's left to model is that piece. So looking from the front, I'm gonna bring in another circle. 16 vertices, scale it, rotate Y90, G and drag it over and then scale it again until you pretty much match the profile of this or the size of this or whatever. Close enough, E to extrude, pull it out, E and S, come out, E, that's all right if it's off the diagram, E and S, come in, E and I'm gonna pull right to the end of this and then I'm going to press S to scale until I have that. I have to make a face and then I'm going to bevel that. I'm going to look from the sides so I can see my thing going so I don't overlap any vertices. All right, and press 2 and we'll bevel here and scroll that down just so I have three segments in total. Now I know I'm going to need an edge loop in here, so I'm just going to do it right now. Uh, just for shading purposes that's going to improve it okay so we have that let's rotate z minus uh 90 and we will pull it down here i'll look in wireframe and we start rotating this so that it's perpendicular to this face here and then we'll have to adjust i'm going to pull that over here so it's over the notch and then I'll start looking in perspective view and I can switch over to normal and I can move it like this. I don't want it on the inside of that. I want it on the outside and, you know, kind of close. Something like that, I think. Let's see, does that work? Yeah. Okay, so I'll take this and I'm going to join it to that part. Now I can shade smooth and look at this, look for any errors. And I can also put on weighted normal and normals auto smooth. And I think it's okay. So I've got this section and this section. Let's try the cavity shader. Let's try the shadow. And I may have to flip stuff, but before I even look at that, let's switch over to a matte cap, uh, this one. And this one helps because I can see the discoloration here and here. And so those are going to be flipped and I'll prove it to you. So let's go in and we'll select it and alt and recalculate outside. And now it should be just fine. All right. So that's the model and it's coming in at just under 4,000 tries. All right. You could even reduce that further. And like I say, we're never going to see that. So, you know, we're going to look at it like this and no one will know that it's there. So there's the modeling for that lever, and in the next video we'll do the texturing so that it looks pretty much like this. Thanks for watching.